ya lo, lo vas a quitar, mamá. Ah, ya no estás en el Inter, ¿verdad?
le dije a Chito la, la, el jarabe. Hola, soy Puño y trabajo como ilustrador. Ilustrador y educador desde hace 20 años, pero ante todo me considero dibujante. Um, not always in a positive sentence or statement, but the way it often needs to be included in negative statement, and also how it has to be used plus. Okay, so I've just got an example here to show you what what I mean. Okay, so just a simple sentence: You walk. Okay, you walk. So we've got the the pronoun you the person, the pronoun people person. Okay, and the verb to walk. You walk, okay. But it's not the same tense. And what happens is, in some tenses, you have to use do. But in other tenses, you don't need it. So when to say different um, of tenses with tenses to show when to use it and when not to use it, and also how to use it. Okay. So you walk, simple present tense. If you turn that into negative, it's you do not walk or you don't walk. I say you not walk. Hi, Veronica. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? 
Hi, Doreen, teacher. All right. Ya parece. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Welcome. See, I have a video for you, okay? Okay. Let's let's watch the video, okay? And we want Okay. Did you finish the final exam? Yes, I finished platforms. Oh, right. Okay. Passé, passé. I think so, yeah. I, it, it, Solo una consulta, ¿Sí? teacher. ¿Sí? El otro módulo no lo voy a seguir. ¿Por qué? Eh, porque la empresa no me... O sea, todas las compañeras no lo vamos a hacer. Entonces, hasta el siguiente. Hasta que nos pongamos al día todas, porque todas hemos estado inconstantes en el ciclo. Es hasta enero. Hasta enero va a ser... Por eso, pero en un mes no le vamos a agarrar del hilo. Uh, y nosotros ya nos vamos de vacaciones también. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. vale. pero, ok, pero teacher. Hasta, hasta en enero, ok. Ok, lo voy a, vamos a hacer. Ahorita do y das. Ya, ok. Let's okay. check it out, check it out. Veamos el video. Okay. Thank you. Ok. And so, because do is also so a verb. The way it's used here is to sort of help the meaning, and that means means it's called an auxiliary. Okay. So I'll just put AUX auxiliary verb and then not not music. contractions, revisions, verbs. Do you walk? So you walk. Do you walk? Okay. So is the okay. you is the person for now. And walk is the okay. So walk, you don't walk. Do you walk? Okay. So there is a simple sentence. The next sentence you use do, etc. Right, so now I've seen the best times to be transcending in yourself or I. And it's the same. We've got walk there. And again, somebody asks, I ask, and might be a to try and ask, but do, do I swim every day? Do swim every day? Walk, walk, swim every day? Do I swim every day? Okay. So he was doing that in just swim, and then he was saying, Okay, so try this one. Try that one. Do, stand, find, swim, and I'll do, do, stand. No. What is it? I'm just going to say, I'll leave you. Then how do you say it? That's you, do, 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 stand. Okay, so it's you, I'm here. Don't, I'm just going to do, 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 you don't right? And then the question version, I've already started to do. So if I ask you, yes or no, do you understand? Okay, so do you understand? And the question mark is the answer. But, okay, I hope it's clear so far. Now, let's find this one. This is still present tense, simply present tense. He smokes cigarettes, a bad habit. Ah, he smokes cigarettes now, and then gives up smoking, quits smoking, he stops, presents him. So it's now a situation. No more cigarettes. So he, that's what probably happens here, because we're talking about he. We have to think about if it was, for example, I smoke, you smoke, don't you get it. But this we've got he smokes, is where we get him and her, he, she, it smokes. So that, that's what happens here. Okay. Um, and instead of don't, we have to use doesn't or does not. Okay. So either does not be a mess, not or be a mess, and apostrophe T. He doesn't. Um, and then something else happens because we've less now and does because they're here. No one gets there, but we say he doesn't smoke cigarettes. Okay, he doesn't smoke cigarettes. We've already used the S and does um, on the sentence. It's a bit confusing, but 
very much more uh, more than you okay and so learning from now take and say what you have learned in the day starting house with the S dust A smoke with the S dust in smoke cigarettes okay let's have to end this one because this is the same stream it and it's the first one and that's why this S happens to be the so it speaks French so how would you play some more help in the part two does not or doesn't speak French. She doesn't speak without less French. So let's have a look into the question then, and it's very similar to what happened with this line. So she speaks French, she doesn't speak French, and now does. Do you want to read it? Does she speak, I guess, French? Does she speak French? Might. One five example. Let's do more of this. So we have a girl went from this. That's a clue. 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 What's happening next? Because the still was doing verb, but it's acting as So, will, did you look what time's doing? Did you find it all? Did, did not, or didn't. Okay, well, did. Uh, and then we've got sense of who didn't need to this. Go. Will did go. 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 Probably not. No, because we've got did already is the percent of do, did. So it did the go shop cushion. So I didn't go, it did the go go shop. Okay, so that's how you're going to say did, but I'm going to show that these things are different. This has been up to use do. Because this one, for example, is the present field, I'm passing. So to keep the negative that, all you have to do is say, I'm passing, I'm not swimming. So this is where not, I'm not swimming. Okay? And the best way to end, start with am, and you should go to the words, go am I swimming? Question mark, am I swimming? Okay, nice and simple. So let me do the present continuous. Okay, Emily, the girl was very shopping, the past tense tense now, that continues, is the past tense, the girl was very shopping. What do you think the negative might be? The girl was not going to. The girl was not. So all you're doing is putting not in. Not in. Not in. Not in. Not in. We should take the door. What the girl was shopping. What the girl needs to do. That's what she did. Emily, we clean the kitchen. I'm good. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do the kitchen. Unfortunately, we're going to do that. We have not used the kitchen. Sadly, we have not the kitchen. That's simple. A question, just change the order. order. Have we cleaned the kitchen? Question mark. Okay. So, I got some examples too, where it needed, and examples, it's not needed, because of the reasons. And then we're just going to go on with another couple of pieces of the work to do. Okay. So, I'm going to look at two of the pieces of the work to do. Okay. First of all, put X2, but it means twice. Twice means two Nine. times. Nine. Two times. Times Nine. two. In the same sentence. So the verb to do can appear twice in the same sentence. Okay? Here it is. Did you do that? So did, past tense of to do. Did you do that? Maybe, I don't know, um, a little boy has been playing around and broken something and his mother comes and says did you do that did you break that so the do refers to some action like break so the mother could say did you break that but break. you can just break the meaning to did do something break. so yeah. did past tense did you do that did you break that? Or you could say, did you drink that? Did, did you, you break that? But you can just say, did you do that? Okay. Word of glory. Do can appear twice. And once as the auxiliary verb, and once as the main verb. And you can turn it, oh, well, that's already a question. There's another question. What did you do? Okay, so they do. Did did you Somebody do? comes with their arm bandaged. <gasps> what did you do? What did you do? How, what, what's happened? How did that happen to your arm? What did you do? And they say, oh, um, somebody knocked me over. And I fell on my arm and it broke. The bone was broken. So 
you didn't do it, somebody else did, but people still say, what did you do to, to cause that? So what did you do? Um, past tense, auxiliary, and main verb to do. Uh, and then, this is rather a fun um, use, a nice use of the verb to do for emphasis. If you want to put more stress on something. For emphasis, I don't, I don't like stress. And you also stress it in its voice as well. You say, oh, I do like your hair. I don't like you. Do like you can say I like your hair. Oh, I like your hair. Mm -hmm. If you say oh I do, yes, oh, oh, is it lovely? Oh. And so the do you say do your voice goes up and down. Do I do like your hair? And hair goes up and down as well. <laughs> so that just emphasises the fact that you really, really, really do mm -hmm. like hair. Okay, um, it can be used for a, a less happy reason as well, of course. Oh, she does look tired. Okay, so we go from do to does, remember, because the she does look that's first person singular. I do, she does. She does. With this, that, and been working so hard. She does look tired. You can say she looks tired, and of course that puts an S on. She looks tired. But when you're using does, the S is there, so you don't need it again here. So she looks tired. Oh, she looks tired today. But oh, she does look tired today. Oh, it just gives more emphasis. Okay. She does look tired. And then, say you've been on holiday, a nice positive example again. You had a really nice time. So, you could say we enjoyed our holiday. Oh yes, we enjoyed our holiday. But, oh, we did enjoy our holiday. That's the emphasis. Okay. And you notice again, um, if you say we enjoyed our holiday, it's ED. We enjoyed our holiday. Enjoy. But if you say yeah. we did enjoy our holiday, yeah. because the past tense is in did, yeah. so you don't need to put it again here. We did enjoy our holiday. Right, well, I hope all of that is helpful and. If you go to the website, ingvid.com, you will find a quiz on this subject. So please go and try it and see how many marks you can get. And on YouTube, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Thank you. And hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Hi, Did you I'm like Jill it? from ingvid.com and today <laughs> we're going to look at the verb to do, looking at do, does and did and the way it's used um, not all within a positive sentence or statement, but the way it often needs to be included. Positive in, like, negative question. Again, again, question. And also how it has to be used in a question. Okay. So I've just got an example here to show you what I mean. Okay, so just a simple sentence, you walk, okay, you walk. 
So we've got the, the pronoun, you, the person, people pronoun, people person, okay? And the verb, to walk, you walk. Oh, wow. But wow. what happens, now this is in the present tense, and what happens is in some tenses you have to use do, but in other tenses you don't need it. So we're going to see the different um, types of sentence with different tenses to show when to use it and when not to use it and also how to use it. Okay. So you walk, simple present tense. If you turn that into the negative, it's you do not walk or you don't walk. Um, you can't just say you not walk. You have to use you do not walk. And so because do is also a verb, the way it's used here is to sort of help the meaning. And that means it's called an auxiliary verb. Okay, so I'll just put A-U-X, auxiliary verb, and then not is the negative. Okay, so you do not walk or you don't walk. In speech, when we're speaking, we say you don't. Maybe if you're writing a, a formal essay for an exam, it's best not to use contractions, abbreviations, like don't. It's better to use do not. Okay. So you do not mm -hmm. walk. Mm -hmm. okay. And then again, if we That's turn it into work. a question and you're asking the person, it's do, again, do, do, do you do. Walk? So you walk, do. do you walk, okay? So do is the auxiliary, you is the person, mm -hmm. the pronoun, and walk is the verb, okay? So you walk, you don't walk, do you walk. Do. So there is a sense. For the negative and for the question, you need to use do as an extra and as an auxiliary there. Right, so now I've got some little exercises to give you a chance to see if you can do them yourself before I say what they should be. Okay, so we've got this one here. We I swim every day. Very healthy. I can swim, swimming, swim. I swim every day. Okay. Every so, day. If you were going to turn that into the negative, I just said it probably without realizing. I hope you've forgotten what I said now when I gave you the negative. <laughs> I'm not going to do that every time. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so I swim every day. What would be the negative? I. I. Just have a think before I tell you what it should be. I. Let me the, 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 do not. I don't. Mm. I don't. And then it's the same. We've got walk there and walk there. So it's just okay. don't swim. swim every day. Swim. Okay. So you just put there. don't in there. I don't swim every day. Okay. And then again for the question version of it, I swim every day. And then somebody asks. Or I ask, I don't know why I would ask that question, 
I should know the answer, but do, what should it be? Do I, do I swim every swim day? Every day. Every day. Walk every day. Swim every day. Do I swim every day? Okay. Do I? It's always do at the every beginning day. of the question. And then you just use the same words. Okay, so let's try the next one. I hope by now that you to understand, understand, understand. What I'm about the verb to do. do you the understand. Okay. Now, what if it's still negative? I'm not going to say it this time. I'll leave it for you to think. How would you say the negative of this? You mm, mm, understand. Okay. So it's you, like this one here. Don't. Sorry about my writing. You don't, and then understand. Understand. You don't understand, right? And then the question version, I've already do, started do, it do. do. So if I'm asking do. you, do. yes or no, do. do, do understand. Understand, okay. So do you understand? And the question mark, of course, at the end. Understand. Always remember the question mark. Right, okay. So I hope that's clear so far. Now, let's try this one. This is still present tense, simple present tense. He smokes cigarettes. Very bad. Ah, he smokes cigarettes. Now, and then he gives up smoking, quits smoking he stops very sensible so it's now the negative situation no more cigarettes so he now he what happens here the, because we're talking the, about he we have to change the verb if it was for example i smoke you smoke uh -huh. we don't have the s on the end but because we've got he smokes, this is where we put the S on the end of the verb. He, she, it smokes. So that affects what happens here. Okay. Um, and instead of don't, we have to use doesn't, does not. Okay. So it's either. Does not yes, not or does not o e s n apostrophe t he does not he doesn't ah and then something else happens because we've got an s now or does we've got an s here we no longer need the s there. So we say he doesn't smoke cigarettes. Okay. He doesn't smoke cigarettes because we've already used the S and the does and part of the sentence. That's a bit confusing, but the more you practice it, the more uh, it will get easier. Okay. And similarly with the question then, how, see if you can think what the question wording would be. Starting with does, with the S, does. All right, Veronica, you can see videos like this in your house, okay? Yes, teacher. 
and uh, yes, teacher. get ready for next That's... year. Okay. Perdón. Okay, teacher. Get, get ready for next year. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Nos vemos el otro año, primero Dios. Primero Dios. Mire, voy a ver si le puedo, si me sale bien lo que estaba enseñando. Ajá, go ahead. Espere, espere. Espéreme, teacher, que estoy con, con enfermo en la casa ahora. Ah, ok. Tengo aquí. Estoy haciendo muchas cosas al mismo tiempo. Espéreme, espéreme, teacher. Ok, ahora sí. ok. Thank you for the class. Uh, thank you for the class. Have delivery giving me. No sé si lo dije bien. Aha. Very good. Thank you, Veronica. Take it easy, all right? I will <laughs> Take see it you. Easy. Take it easy. See you next year. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, teacher. Thank bye, you for bye, todo. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.